No, no, I don't no, hear shit. Okay, mm. I don't hear a damn thing. You probably got headphones in. That's probably why. I don't know. Say something. Say hello. Hello. Oh, now I hear her. Hi. How oh, you there. doing? How are you? I'm doing great, ma'am. How you doing? She, uh, she, what? He wants to know how you doing, babe. Boy. How, you're doing good? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, well, it's hard because I got the headphones in, so he, she can't hear you. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that, I love that. That was, that was, that was just, that was so random. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, my buddy's back. Isn't that cool? That's awesome, isn't it? My buddy's back. My boyfriend's back, and you're going to be in trouble. Hey, la, hey, la, my boyfriend's back. Uh, my buddy's back. He is, he's made himself known again for whatever reason. I don't know if he's scanning for, uh, the ridge line for materials again or what, but um, he's back, and uh, he's doing his thing. Whatever that thing may be, he's doing his thing. He's back. You know, it's nice. Ha it's nice having having an encountered suited ally. I tell you, because you never know. It's hard. It's hard knowing what the hell's going on with CERN opening up that damn portal. It's hard knowing what the hell's going on. Yeah, I mean, I th I think I'm safe in saying that CERN is trying to open up a portal. I mean, they've had that shit turned on since June, and you know, for something that takes a fraction of a second to do, folks, it only takes. It only takes a fraction of a second for a particle to make its way completely around the Hadron Collider. And you say, Vaughn, how can it be? Because it's the speed of light, dummy. <laughs> it's the speed of light. It only takes only takes a second for, for a particle to travel. Yeah, but yeah, but Vaughn, the Hadron Collider crosses the, the entire country of France and the entire country of Switzerland. How can it only take because it's the speed of light, bro? It's the speed of light. At the absolute most, it might take a day. So why the fuck have they had that motherfucker turned on since June? Oh, good fucking question. Could it be because they're trying to open up a fucking portal? You reckon? I did two videos on this shit, folks. They're over on BitChute. Portal to Hell 1, Portal to Hell 2. And for a long time, I didn't believe that they could open a portal because they didn't have a power source, right? Well, when they purchased that fusion generator... Then they then it's like, oh shit, now they've got something to keep the fucker open. That's why they purchased the fusion generator. So now CERN has their Hadron Collider. They now have a D-Wave computer. They have a fusion generator, which means now they can literally open up a portal. And it's been open since June. So now what are they doing since June? Well. Good question. But they've been on since June. Google it for fuck's sake. You got you got the power of the internet at your fingertips. Google that shit. They've been open since June. Why? It only takes a fraction of a second per particle to travel the Hadron Collider. So why have they been open since June? Well, that's a damn good question, isn't it? It's a very good question. Now my 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 little encountered suited friend is back. What does that mean, if anything? I don't know. Uh, the message I got uh, seems to indicate that. Uh, excuse me. I have garnered their attention. They are drawn to things of power. All right, and you know, such as nuclear uh, factories, for example, and nuclear weapons. Anything of power they're drawn to, and I guess uh, since uh, getting 2.0, my little my little encounter suited friend is back because they're drawn to power. They're drawn to anything of power, spiritual or physical. So, at least that was the message that I got bright and early this morning, half awake, half asleep. It's like, uh, well, they're drawn to power. I'm like, oh, okay, well, very good. All right, so they're drawn to me. So I now have an encounter suited friend again, um, but that's okay. I mean, it's nice, you know, it's nice having something out there in case something would happen. We'll see what we'll see what it all means. You know, what well, what does it all mean? But the fuck I know. 
I'm, I'm stumbling along in the dark, man. It, you know, see, my religion doesn't have a holy book. OK, you know, so I got to stumble through the dark on this shit. I'm literally I'm literally carving out a brand new path that nobody else. Has, nobody else has done. Oh, by the way, one of my rings came in. Did you see that? Yeah, cool. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for the other ring to get here. Maybe I'll have 10 rings. Ha ha ha. Marvel movie. It didn't do so good, they said. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. Might not be a bad movie. As long as it ain't got no any any woke or SJW bullshit in it, it'll be all right. But I don't know. It didn't do so well, I don't think. I don't know. Kevin Feige is taking things in a very dark turn. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, the second Black Panther movie came out. And Prince Namor, instead of being the king of Atlantis, is now the archdemon Quetzalcoatl of Central America. It's like, what the fuck? How did you equate Central America with Atlantis? Atlantis is way to fuck over here, and Central America is way to fuck over there, and there the twain shall meet. So, yeah, they've totally bastardized a prince Namor, who was Asian, by the way. Uh, so, hey, if you like Asian characters, guess what? Prince Namor is not an Asian anymore. He's now a Latino in Central America, and he's an arch demon named Quetzalcoatl. You know, human sacrifice, bloodletting, eating babies. Literally, they literally have paintings where he's eating babies and humans, and he even eats one. In one painting, he's e eating a pregnant female human. Isn't that nice? Is that, is that uplifting? Do you think it's wise for Marvel? to actually invoke real demons in their movies. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I've got job security, bro. I've got fucking job security. Because it's untelling what the fuck this shit. What the fuck Marvel is. Doing. Kevin Feige is a moron. Okay. You don't use real demon names in movies, dumbass. Oh, that's why in the comics, they used a fake demon by the name of Mephisto. Because you don't use real demon names in movies. Because invoking demons is probably not a good thing. Wow, what a fucking concept it is. But Kevin Feige in his fucking wisdom says, Oh, we'll take Prince Namor. We'll change him from Asian to Latino. And then we'll make him a fucking demon on top of that. Oh, that's just fucking wonderful, Kevin. I mean, it's it's bad enough they're 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 fucking race swapping white dudes, but now they're even race swapping Asians. Prince Namor was an Asian, and now they now they fucking swapped him for a damn Latino. Atlantis is called Atlantis because it's in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. That's why it's called Atlantis. It's not in the middle of Texas. It's not in the Sahara Desert. No. It's in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. That's why he called it Atlantis. You would think that would be a no-brainer, but apparently not. You got it. I just saw an, another idiot just the other. Well, well, Atlantis is in the Sahara Desert. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. It is not in the Sahara Desert, you fucking moron. Because if it was in the Sahara Desert, it would be called Africanus, not Atlantis. If it was in the Texas desert, which is another moron said it was, then it would be Texacana, not uh, not Atlantis. It's called Atlantis because it's in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, right where they said it was. And it is there. We've had a lot of deep sea divers go down. They see massive cities down there, huge statues. There's this one huge statue that has, that holds this massive crystal in his hand. And they said when they when they when they swam anywhere near it, the scuba guys when they swam anywhere near it, it would light up. It's like oh shit! So uh, yeah, cool, cool stuff. Massive stuff down there. Monorail trains are down there. Go see my video um, under uh, what was what uh, underwater pyramids. Underwater pyramids, twenty sixteen. I describe all that in minute detail, with names, dates, everything. The whole the whole shooting match. Anything that you want to reference, I've got it in that video. So it's great. It's a great video. It's a long video. It's actually two videos in one. I have spliced them together. But it's a great video. It's a great video. Very informative. 
Underwater Pyramids, man, over on BitChute. Google that shit. Or Underwater Pyramids 2016. Uh, I think I've actually got it up twice. <laughs> but that's okay. Hey, man, you know, as long as people get the message, right? But uh, anyway, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, you know, we, we have Kevin Feige, the guy that's in charge of Marvel movies, the MCU, they're calling it. And he has now invoked a real demon from Central America into the movies. And, it, and, and, and he did it by race swapping the king of Atlantis. What the fuck? But yeah, Quetzalcoatl is not named Prince Namor. He's not. I'm sorry, he's not. Central America is over here. Atlantis is way to fuck over here. They're not the same. Not even close. And like I said, Prince Namor is Asian anyway. You can look at him and see, yeah, he's fucking Asian. I think I think uh, me and I think me and Solar Marshall actually touched on that on a live show. I believe we did. But yeah, it's not um yeah, he's yeah, that yeah, invoking an actual demon is probably not a good idea. Why in the fuck they didn't use Mephisto or some other fake ass name, I do not know. Uh, but uh, they did not. And now now that they've completely destroyed Prince Namor from what his original intent was, because obviously if he's Quetzalcoatl, then he's then he's then he's uh, he's a demon, demigod, demon, whatever. Demon is a better word. I mean, eating eating human beings. I mean, like like I said a bit. Let me here. Let me see if I can bring up some of this shit up so that you see what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, let's see. Cool. Oh, well, there he is. There he is, mate. All right. And uh, but yeah. Yeah, eating and like I said, in one of them, he's actually eating a pregnant female, female human. Let me see if that's it. Is that the one? Yep, that's the one. That's the one. See, man, the jazz. Boop. Do 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 do. All right, I'm bringing this shit up. Mm-hmm. Right there. Dump me up, John. If you can. If you can, throw me up. Maybe he can't. Maybe he cannot. Maybe he cannot throw me up. Maybe he's gone. Are you gone, John? Are you still with me? Maybe he left. All right, anyways. Uh, when he gets here, I can throw it up. We can throw it up and look at it. But uh, But yeah, man. Um, crazy. Um, hmm. (laughs) 
Oh, he lost his internet, folks. He lost his internet. All right. Okay. Well, come on back, John. I mean, just come on back, dude. Come on back in, Maynard. That's all you got to do. There you back. Are you back? Are you back, John? Hello. Hello, hello. Well, hello, Mary Lou. Goodbye, huh? Sweet Mary Lou, I'm so in love with you. I said hello, Mary Lou. We never part. So hello, Mary Lou. Goodbye, hon. John, are you with me? John, are you with me, Maynard? Throw me up, John.